I'm actually really excited for the Olympics. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a long time since I've been this engaged in an international hockey competition that isn't the World Juniors, that it's kind of cool, you know, just seeing everybody start to come together and seeing all the rosters slowly being revealed, or parts of the rosters at least. And this entire segment, I guess, kicked off earlier in the week, or last week, I should say, when we had ourselves Team Canada go out there and put out what was their first three players on their Olympic squad. We had ourselves what was Sidney Crosby, Connor McDavid, which are two names that you could go out there and probably say are kind of deserving of that title, and Alex Petrangelo. No disrespect to Alex Petrangelo, but he wasn't really met with the same kind of let's just say praise, as Crosby and McDavid were once those names were revealed. Lo and behold, more names started to be released for some of the other teams. You had Finland, guys like Rontanen, guys like Aho getting on there. We had Team USA, Austin Matthews, of course, being on that squad. But earlier today, we had ourselves a whole bunch of European teams go out there and release their first three players. And we're talking today about two of them. There have been a total of, what is that? 3, 6, 9, 18 extra players revealed for teams Russia, Denmark, Germany, Switzerland, Slovakia, and Latvia, but we're only really talking about two of them here because I'm a biased hockey fan who likes his teams and who wants to talk about players on his team, so no disrespect to anybody who was also named to their Olympic squad, but this video has a very target demographic that I want to hit over here. So we spoke about Team Canada, Sidney Crosby, Connor McDavid, Alex Petrangelo. We spoke about Team Finland, Aho, Barkov, and Rantanen, by the way, Barkov, $10 million AV extension, pretty good right there. We had ourselves also the Czech Republic. They've gotten themselves Jakub Voracek, David Pasternak, and Andre Palat. Team Sweden went out there with Victor Hedman, Gabe Landeskog, and Miko Zibanejad. And the US had Seth Jones, Patrick Kane, and Austin Matthews. Yeah, Seth Jones kind of met with the same critical response from the masses as Alex Petrangelo was for Team Canada. But the two teams I wanted to focus on over here are Team Germany and Team Slovakia. For Team Slovakia, they released themselves Eric Chernock, Andre Sekera, and Jaroslav Halak, who is a Vancouver Canucks goaltender. And for Team Germany, their list goes as follows. Leon Dreisaitl. Okay, that's a pretty good name right there. He's a Hart winner. He's an Art Ross winner. One of the best players in the league. Philip Grubauer was the, what was he, the third best goaltender in the league last year in terms of Vesna voting. He's on Seattle right now, and he is an absolute madhouse, so good at stopping the puck. And the final player for Team Germany is none other than Moritz Seider himself. Okay, that's a good one right there. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda surprised to see Seider on the preliminary first three players named to the team list over here, alongside of other names, Alex Ovechkin, Kucherov, and Vasilevsky for Russia, Nikolai Ehlers, Oliver Bjorkstrand, and Alexander True from Team Denmark, Roman Yossi, Timo Meyer, and Nico Hischer from Switzerland, and Zemgus Gergensen's Christian Rubens, and Rudolf's Balzers for Team Latvia over here. But I wanted to focus mostly on Cider and Halak, because these two are kind of in completely opposite boats when it comes to Olympics and the expectations and all that. Let's start off with Moritz Cider, because the way that he has been playing as of late has been somewhat bipolar, let's just say. He had a really good stretch, and we had been chronicling this the entire time on the channel, from training camp to the preseason, the beginning games, scoring points, scoring goals, and doing his thing, but... The public eye's perception of Moritz Seider is a little bit worse than we would have wanted it to be because of a fantastic Finn playing for the Columbus Blue Jackets whose name you might know of. His name is Patrick Laine. Patrick Laine the other day against the Red Wings scored a goal that was pretty much just a better kind of version of his coast-to-coast -coast goal that he scored in the regular season last year. He picked up the puck in his own zone with speed, charged down the neutral zone, closed in on the two defenders in the offensive zone, and just breezed by Sider. He went in on the goaltender, he shot it, he scored it, whatever, it's Patrick Lina, you get it. And that was kind of the worst highlight that Moritz Sider has had in the past, like, oh boy, year? It was a real welcome to the NHL moment kind of thing for Moritz Sider because he got absolutely embarrassed. He swung his stick out and Patrick Laine just dangled the pants off of him. If he tried to play the body as well, it looked like Laine would have probably had the same kind of result because Sider committed to the play. He forced himself forward, which allowed Laine the opportunity to slip in behind him. It was not a good look, but 
lo and behold, there's nobody going out there and saying, oh, he shouldn't make the team because of that. Oh, he's not good enough to play because of that. It was one play where, I mean, everything went right for the other guy. Is he still good enough, though, to play for Team Germany at the Olympics? Eh, probably, I guess. It's just, it's kind of interesting to me how Moritz Seider, of all people, was one of the guys named to the preliminary roster. Like, there are a whole bunch of other NHL players who played in the NHL last season who happened to also be German. Tim Stutzla, Nico Sturm, Dominic Cahoom, Toby Reeder. You had a few other guys over here that made themselves pretty alright impacts, and I guess that Moritz Sider, if you take a look at the star power and the profile, you know, the hype behind this guy, there is an argument to be made that he should be here, but then again, you know, same thing could be said about Stutzla. So, at the end of the day, it is just kind of the preliminary roster, it's not really going to be anything of note once the full roster gets revealed and we have everybody else assigned to the team, but Moritz Sider having his name over here, it's kind of poetic because he actually rejected to be on Team Germany at the World Juniors last year in favor of his development, and now based off of said development, he's in a position where he's good enough to be on Team Germany for the Olympic squad a year later. Yeah, that's a pretty cool story now, isn't it? Now, let's start talking about Yaroslav Halak for the Vancouver Canucks, because when it comes to Halak, he is pretty much in an opposite kind of situation from Moritz Sider of the Red Wings, mostly because he's playing for Team Slovakia, he's going to be their goaltender over there, and, I mean, there isn't really anybody else who could have been a candidate here. Yaroslav Halak was the only Slovakian goaltender to play in the NHL in 2020, 2021, and when it comes to the all-time records, I mean, there's only been three others, Peter Budai, Jan Leshak, and Radislav Stana, the latter of whom only played six NHL games each. Halak has been the de facto guy for Team Slovakia since 2010 in Vancouver, and granted, he was good then. His 2014, though, wasn't really all too good, statistically speaking, but you still have yourselves a guy who is an NHL goaltender who was really good the previous few years with the Boston Bruins. Sure, he kind of dropped off last season compared to the previous, but as we saw in yesterday's game against the Edmonton Oilers for the Vancouver Canucks, Halak has still got it. Sure, he's 36 years old, but man, this guy can play still, and pretty much he was the only guy that Team Slovakia could have had here in this position, for goaltenders at least. So Halak was pretty much the easy one when Vancouver Canucks fans would talk amongst themselves, oh, who in the Canucks would make the Olympic squad? You have the usuals, you know, the Pedersons and the Hugheses, the Bessers most likely, and then the Demkos and the Millers or the Maybe. That's a different video for another day though, so we should probably not explore that too deeply in this one because it's kind of winding down. But either way, talk to me in the comments what do you think about Moritz Sider playing for Team Germany, being named as one of the three preliminary players on that roster. If you're a Red Wings fan, do you like it? Do you like the sound of that? Do you think he is going to show off well on the grandest stage of them all? And no, we're not talking about WrestleMania. We're talking about, yeah, the Olympics. And for Canucks fans, thoughts on Yara Halak? I liked him yesterday. We said that in the video, but he has been pre-named to the Slovakian Olympic roster as well. I hope you enjoyed this video of Trolls 9 and bye.